Hey everyone, it's Danny again. Just want to say thanks to Kat for having me on the show. I really appreciate being able to come on here and talk about some of the products that we carry in our dispensary. Uh, the first thing I actually want to talk about, it's going to be called Golden Goat. I'm going to let you, I'm gonna let you kind of get a little look at this real quick. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. Beautiful nuggets, right? So, cool story about Golden Goat, right? Golden Goat was actually an accident. It was created in Topeka, Kansas, of all places. I know, mind blown, right? It's actually a cross between Hawaiian Romulan and Island Sweet Skunk. I've never tried either one of those, but this smells good, so it might be worth it. Um, this smells to me spicy, kind of tropical, a little fruity, just a little bit on the end. Great thing about this strain, um, in particular, it's great for stress. It's great for anxiety, pain, depression. A lot of chronic conditions would probably really benefit from the uplifting effects of this strain. Um, this is actually by a cultivator called um, Stability Growers in uh, Carrollton, Missouri. Uh, so definitely if you ever get out to Missouri and want to check something out, highly recommend trying Golden Goat from Stability. Thanks. What's going on guys? My name is Josh from Planet 13. I just wanted to show off my favorite vape cart. It's going to be Chloe by Medicine. This cartridge makes me feel like the first time I ever smoked. Flavor pro profile is amazing. The terps are bomb. The high is great. Come down and pick it up at Planet. Hola amigos y amigas from all around the world. Our friend Captain Hooter has given me opportunity again to voice my opinions. So here we go, right? This is my review of Euphoria, which was spread by our friends from Dutch Passion. Why I chose to talk about this train is that I still stands out, even with all the genetics that have been introduced to us by the US market. The best way to describe this gem is to talk about the smell and the taste. I grew the strain organically and cured it around two months, so when the taste profile was smooth as silk and full of surprises, I knew I had found something beautiful. The first wave of vapor is like being in Hawaii, complex taste of sweetness and spices, and feeling of warmth comes over you, caressing you as it just smells away. The vapor is really smooth and thick, the smell remains more sweet and floral than spicy, while you can feel the different undertones dancing on your tongue. Definitely something that could be made as a concentrate and enjoyed for the terpenoids. Euphoria reminded me of old school skunks that I remember from late 90s. I miss the thick taste in my mouth and the overwhelming effect of old school skunk. It makes me smile just to think about it. If you're looking to grow something special or obtain a crowd pleaser, I would suggest to try out Euphoria by Dutch Passion because the trifecta effect is something noteworthy. This is all from me today. Love and support each other. And remember, herb is meant to be shared and enjoyed with good company. So pass your blunts, bongs, or vaporizing and be thankful of what you enjoy. Somebody gave a lot of love for you to enjoy the bath you have. Peace. Thank you for listening. Oh, my